they all came up out of the old world, the sea. Brothers and sisters, this is section two of our study, and usually we pause for um, if there are any qualifications, if there are any inquiry regarding something that you did not clearly understand. <clears throat> so, since we are broadcasting at this point, I'm going to let you sort of um, digest, digest that first section of our study. As I said, it is deep, it is critical, and we must seek for the truth. We must seek for the understanding. So I thank you for listening thus far, and I'm going to trust that you will uh, check out the postings, get yourselves balanced up, up to date with the previous sections. It is a foundation for most of the end time prophecies. So I want to thank you for attending this session live. I want to thank you and those who will attend the posting, the records. But I want to invite you to come again. We will pick up section two in the, on this platform and then we'll carry on. Again, brothers and sisters, I implore you, I encourage you, don't make this year just the status quo. Church can never be as usual. It can't. And I want to leave this very important phrase as the word says, Awake, awake, put on your beautiful garment because the unclean and sinners will no more pass in your midst. Paraphrasing. It is again talking about the last day, the judgment message, and the cleansing of this sanctuary, which will affect us individually, whether we are whether we die or more so when we are alive. If we are alive and our names are called and we are not fitted to be uh, retained in the book of life, God will not have any use for us in his church. Because the church and earth will have to put on our beautiful garment. Mean no sin or sinners shall be among her. 
and then the gospel work will be finished. They will go forth clear as the moon, fair, fair as the moon, clear as the sun, conquering unto conquer. The church shall go forth in our final conflict. Read that up in Solomon chapter 10 and Prophets and Kings 7.25. If church to finish the gospel will be, will be without sin and sinners. That's what the Bible teaches. Don't listen to anything else. It's not worth your time. Anybody who rejects this message, it's not worth your time to listen to them because they will fool you and the blind will eventually lead the blind into the pit. God bless you. May the word, <coughs> saving grace of our Lord, and our Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, the full fellowship, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, our Comforter, rest, remain, and abide with us. Be anointed. Be delivered. Stand on the promises of God. They never fail. Amen. God bless you. Share the videos.